And good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your Fastcast digital headlines for today's top stories on this Thursday. The FBI is looking for the public's help in finding a suspected bank robber. According to the FBI last Thursday, this man walked into the Northrum Bank on Spinard Road and handed a note to a bank employee demanding money. He then fled on foot. Witnesses described the man as approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall with a large build, about 300 pounds with a tattoo on his neck. If you have any information about this man, please contact the FBI at 907-276-4441. And state geologists are currently collecting data in Ketchikan, determining the safety of the area following Sunday's deadly landslide. According to Dr. Gabriel Wolken, safety comes before identifying a root cause of the landslide, as geologists must sort out the stability in the slope area and ensure the safety of crews and first responders. He says landslides are nearly impossible to predict, but Southeast Alaska is especially susceptible due to extreme weather events and heavy rains. While unpredictable, there are warning signs. When the landscape is saturated or extreme rain um, enters the area, keeping an eye out for things like springs and seeps, saturated ground in general um, is really important being aware of new cracks uh, in the ground, unusual bulges. This indicates that the, the, the soil is quite saturated and those conditions that I mentioned before are actually in play. He also mentioned things to be aware of inside your home, like a door that won't close completely or small cracks that are forming in your walls. To learn more from our conversation with Dr. Wolken, you can read the story at alaskasnewsource.com. And a federal appeals court granted Sarah Palin a new trial in her defamation lawsuit against the New York Times. In 2022, a New York jury found the paper not liable after Palin sued over an editorial that incorrectly linked her political action committee to the 2011 shooting of former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. The appeals court cited issues with jury instructions and comments from the judge. The New York Times calls the decision disappointing but is confident in a retrial Palin's attorney says she is looking forward to a new trial. Seattle's the top destination. It was number one last year as well, but we've seen a 30% increase in Seattle this year. Why? It's those Alaska cruises. And this Labor Day weekend from today to next Wednesday is expected to be one that will break records up at least 8% according to TSA, which equates to about 17 million more passengers. TSA expects 2.8 million passengers to fly tomorrow. Experts advise you arrive early, take advantage of pre-check, practice, patience, and stay hydrated. According to AAA, domestic travel over the Labor Day weekend is forecasted to be at 9% compared to last year. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.